The Talisa Franklin Show. You know what you're listening to, right? Right here on FM 104, AM 1240, WAV in the trend. Well, we're definitely trending the music, the culture, and the conversation. And the conversation on today is going to be amazing. You know why? Because when we're doing great things in our city of Memphis, and we want to make sure that we are spotlighting amazing people doing amazing, incredible things. Because I don't know about y'all, but I serve an incredible God. Listen, if you riding down the road, go and tell a neighbor it's going to be good. This is a Faith Keepers International Ministries, baby, that I'm going to be talking to today, baby. Because if you know anything about me and you know anything about a prophet, Gerald Coleman, he is the prophet of the Trend radio station. We have his daughter in the house on today. And baby, she is a young lady that is on fire for God. Will you welcome with me the one, the beautiful Ashley Shaw. Hey, Ashley. Hey, y'all. How are you, babe? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Ashley, have you accepted your calling yet? Or are you still waiting? Ooh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to walk in it. I'm trying to walk in it. <laughs> you, are, you know, every time I see you, baby, you just encourage me and you just make, I just, I feel your positive uh, the oil on your life and I just love it and I love that everything that you're doing is all about pleasing the father yes and yes. so kind of talk to us I know you have this amazing brunch but we got a few minutes let's let people know who is Ashley Shaw so kind of give us a little bit who is Ashley Shaw oh my god I am most importantly first and foremost a woman of God um I am 29 years old. I'll be 30 this year. Yay. Um, I have a 11 year old son. He just turned 11. I am widow, four years of widow. I got married at a very young age. I get married at the age of 19. Um, my wonderful husband, I met him at 17. Um, he asked my parents for my hand in marriage shortly after I graduated um, high school. And so I got married and I was a wife and a mother and then um shortly I will say real short <laughs> after our time together uh, my husband got killed in a car accident and it left me I was 25 years old he was 29 at the time and my son was six and so that left me um feeling lost feeling confused not exactly knowing why God allowed this to happen to me um but I decided that I won't stop there, that I will turn my pain into purpose and I will walk in my purpose and um, just continue to do what God has called me to do. And you know, you being so young, wanting to please the Lord at an early age, you know, how many 19 year old young women that just want to go ahead and get married and please the Lord versus saying, oh, I'm not going to get married. I'm too young to get married and just look, you know, unfortunately things happen. But look at you, you're able now to tell other young women, pleasing the Lord really is an amazing a process of life. And then God was able to bear you an amazing male son that you can always see your lover in him. And also knowing that he was able to say, my father, uh, he married my mom early. They lived a life of holiness. Uh, unfortunately, he got called home, but my mom had that foundation to still keep me okay, uh, where now I look at him, I, when I came to church, I was like, oh my God, he is a big boy. Uh, and you've done such a great job, baby. And I just love the fact that even though now you're single, you're not as, the old saints say, loose, right? You yes. ain't loose doing it and everything because you understand that the next man come in your life will be the man that God has ordained for your life. And so, so many women, here you are, 29, about to get into your 30s. Oh, I remember those days. Uh, <laughs> you are such a light for those young women to let them know they don't have to sell themselves short for the person that they think they want versus the person God has ordained for them. And so with that, you have decided uh, to lead an amazing brunch that's happening on this weekend. And I want us to kind of, let's talk about, because you said the faith experience. You got to experience God for yourself to have that true faith, right? Mm -hmm. And then you said walking into the new 2022. What was the vision that made you, 29-year-old uh, young woman, say, I want to do a brunch to empower other women uh, to be the best them that they can be? Okay. Um, I want to say I, I started this 
uh, I want to say it was two years ago, 2019, I want to say. So it was a couple of years after I lost my husband. And one day I was like, I, you know, we are hurting out here. I'm hurting. Um, a lot of people around me is hurting. We are going through things. We are young. We are holding on to things that we need to let go. We need to release some things. We need to talk about it. We need to have some girl time. And so I sent out a text to my cousins and close friends. And I said, we need to plan. We need to have a vision board party. Let's do it for the new year. And I did it in my home. And uh, it was just the fear of us. And we got together, we did a brunch and we came together. We brought different things and it was amazing. We talked, we have got a little bag and we put faith in there. We put health in there. We put mental in there. We put all type of little names and everybody pulled a name and we had to talk about it. And it was so amazing. We cried, we laughed, we released. And I said, oh my goodness, I wanted it to be something that we did every year. And then 2020 came, it was COVID, you know, everything kind of hit and it stopped. And so my sister then was like, we need to do this again. And when they said it, I was like, yeah, you're right. And it's like, God wouldn't let me rest. I, I would blow it off. He, he, would let me, he wouldn't let me rest. He was like, bring it back. But this time we want to invite other women out. You know, I don't want to do it. And I don't want you to do it in your home. I want you to uh, invite people out, get a building, rent it out and invite the community out, invite other women to come out to experience what you guys experience, to receive the healing and deliverance that you guys need. Wow. And so here you are, started with just a vision board party. Uh, one thing I love you said, you talked about the mental piece of it because you were hurting and you understood that you were going to get strength by helping somebody else that was hurting and y'all can get healed together, right? It's like you ain't leaving a sister out there unhealed. You want to be healed and you want them healed. Mm -hmm. And but one thing we as believers got to understand that it takes each other to work together to help us get to that place where God really wants us to be. And he wants us to be healed in mm -hmm. every area of our life. And so now your sisters, come, uh, they, they done push you to do this and they say, you can do it. You can do it, Ashley. You can do it. And you, mm -hmm. you believe the experience of faith that you're going to trust faith. You're a faith keeper, baby, baby. You, you have no other reason but to have faith, right? I think right. your parents, you're a beautiful mom. Baby, if she ain't got no faith, I don't know what I, I'm telling you, uh, your parents has taught you how to live a life of trusting God and not trusting Ashley, but trusting God. And so let's talk about you and your selection of these amazing speakers, because we have these speakers. They're ready to release a word and we're going to talk about all the things that's going to happen. So let's just go through one, each one of these speakers. And we have is LaMonica Nolan. Let's talk about this sister, why her story is so imperative where other women need to hear her story. La Monica uh, Nolan, uh, she is a powerful woman of God. Uh, she been through some things. She was married as well. Um, she's divorced now. Um, she been through some things. She talked about, she has a book um, that she just released. I can't think of the name of it right now, uh, but she just released the book and she talked about it, her book um, the things that she held on to, uh, holding unforgiveness in her heart um, from her past, even with her siblings and things like that, people who have hurt her and it caused her to have health issues where she was having strokes and things like that. And But when she released the things, you know, that was holding her, God was able to heal her, not even just physically, but mentally, you know, emotionally, he was able to heal her. So he, she's able to tell us how we can let these things go. We don't have to hover these things in our heart. You know, if we went through divorce and we went through things like that, you know, that we need to let go and free ourselves from, you know, she struggled with freeing herself um, from her unhealthy marriage. But once she freed herself, now she's able to walk fully and boldly in her purpose. And so that's what it's all about. We want you to be free and not keep yourself stuck and bound in the things that's holding you back from walking fully in your purpose so what i am hearing you all that's listening and riding down the road listen to fm 104 am 1240 wav in the trend or the talisa franklin show on the social media outlets you're i'm hearing that miss monica lady monica is able to help that woman that actually had a marriage uh things didn't work out 
uh, just the way they thought it was going to work out, but there's still life after a divorce. And there's so many women, Ashley, don't believe there's life after divorce, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that she's going to walk through the word of God and what God had to say to her to give her the peace to be able to encourage somebody else because there's so many, and I tell you women that's rolling, listen, it is not God's desire for you to be abused, right? It is not God's desire for you to hold yourself in bondage. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to be whole. And sometimes we as women, we're such a nurturer, right? We're such a fixer. We want to <laughs> fix it, right? I know for me, anybody know if they want something, they like, Kyle, Lisa, she can fix it. I'm like, look, y'all, I don't want to be the fixer no more, right? I really, y'all can have this baton of life. I don't want it. Period, right? But sometimes we get that. Uh, but just to know that she's boldly proclaiming to tell her story. And so you all that's listening, y'all got to get there. It's this Saturday up uh, to this faith experience brunch, walking into the new. The, I'm going to tell y'all, she got a powerhouse of speakers that's going to be there. Let's talk about Prophetess Thompson. Tell me about this beautiful queen on this flight. At this beautiful woman um, at my um, biological dad church, and I went there on an assignment. For one, it was his, I think, pastor, pastor's and wife anniversary, and so I went there because I praise dance, and I went there on an assignment um, to minister not only to my earthly father, um, but my spiritual father, and to just minister to him and to the body of Christ. And this powerful young lady, she was able to identify the calling that God had on my life. And, and she was able to confirm everything that God was speaking and saying in that very moment to encourage me to keep going, to keep pushing in spite of the pain, in spite of everything that I had been through. She was able to encourage me. So she is a powerful woman of God who's been through some things. She is coming in a place, I believe, by faith that God has a word for the women of God by this powerful prophet, woman of God to be able to help set us free to know and to speak life into every woman in the building that you have purpose for your life and we and God and with the help of her we're going to identify what their purpose is and you're going to be able to walk freely and boldly until you're walking your purpose and one thing you I, I love you said and you acknowledge your 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 biological dad your spiritual dad your dad you're just a person that understands order and you're just blessed. Let me just be real. You're blessed to have a double dose of anointing of fathers, right? Because everybody got that. So you are just very blessed. But it was amazing that you were there to minister. And you all that's listening or, or that's watching, if y'all have never seen Ashley Shaw dance, OMG. Y'all, she is, you. She, as I said, she leave it all on the floor, baby. She leave it all on the floor. And she's going to encourage you and make you feel like you can dance. And, and I'm always used to be amazed at how you would take all those young people. And I'm, yeah, I mean, like three or four. She would have about 10 or 15 children up there. Uh, and they were all dancing for the Lord. And I remember doing Bible study time. They would be on fire to go back in the back to learn. And I mean, that ministry is amazing, baby. So I'm just, and I'm grateful that, even though you were ministering, you came to minister to somebody else. God had a word and you was able to accept the word from this woman of God. Because sometimes people think they be they, they know it all. They think they too great. They the grand. Baby, be quiet and shut up and do what the Lord's going to say. So somebody, he can use a donkey. I know he can use somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. And so we as believers got to be uh, very mindful that when we go in situations wherever the Lord's going to speak, we just need to say, okay, God, I'm, yeah. I'm here, God. I hear you. I trust <laughs> you. And from that, you got able to get connected to her anointing. And I just, I just know uh, in my spirit, it's going to be a release for some woman that gets to this faith experience, walking into the new brunch. Uh, they're going to hear a word from the Lord that they needed to move them, to shift them, to have the great year God has already purposed on their life. So let's talk about LaShondra Hawkins. Tell mm -hmm. us about this amazing young lady. 
Lashandra Hawkins. She is an author. She's an author of two books. This woman of God have a powerful testimony. This woman of God have been through some things, some struggles. I'm talking about all the way back in her childhood, growing up, teen, a teen mother, um, abusive relationships. I'm talking about all of that. She can help you get free. Sometimes we think we have to be stuck and we don't know how to free ourselves from the situations. We think that this is what our lifestyle should be. And I'm here to tell you, she's going to let you know that you don't have to live in debt. You can love yourself, walk in that self-love, know your worth, know who you are, know who God have called you to be in such a time as this. I'm telling you, I pray and hope that she have books on hand to sell. You want to get you a copy. You want to come to the brunch to hear this awesome woman of God speak with you. I also want to grab you a book. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. It's going to help you walk in your purpose to get free from everything that was holding you back all the way back in your childhood. We talking childhood trauma. We talking childhood hurt. We talking, oh my goodness, I am just excited about what she's going to be able to minister to the people this coming Saturday. My God, and I'm just loving, uh, when you all come, you can walk away with some tangible items that you can go back to reference to help encourage you because let's get real, that as women of faith, sometimes we need to have something in our uh, vicinity that can encourage us to be the best us that we can be. Because sometimes, let's be real, we forget how great we are because yeah. we get boggled down with life and everybody else's problems. What And you be trying to be the fix it for everybody when you be like, I'm trying to fix me, God. Uh, and so you need those extra material. So let's talk about Terrica Williams. And what I love about you got all these young, beautiful queens that's giving me life, baby. They're giving the girl life, honey. Terrica Williams. Um, I was actually telling my manager about this brunch that I was I'm going to have. And she began to uh tell me about Terrica because she has a boutique. And she was speaking of Terrica and telling me how, was such a great woman, a powerful testimony she was. And she began to say that she will be a great speaker. Now, I didn't know Terrica, don't really still know her. Um, I said, OK, give her my number. Let's connect. Let's talk. And so and that's another thing I have been asking God for divine connections. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if I don't know you, if we are destined and divine to meet and connect in the kingdom i'm with it we are better together than we are uh separated so i called this beautiful young lady when i say she encouraged me on the phone to keep on going this lady has all these women have powerful testimonies she had i, I don't even want to get her story mixed up <laughs> i believe um she was having headaches and thought you know it was just a headache and end up going having to go to the I think she fell out at work one day had to go to the hospital come to find out was something going on with her brain they had to have surgery and at the end of it, it it caused her eye to be completely shut and so this young lady is walking around with one eye that's completely shut and at first she struggled with self-esteem didn't didn't want to show cover her eye until one day she cried every day and she questioned why God would allow her to go through something like this why would it be me why do I have to struggle now I was a pretty young lady now I got one eye and I got to struggle with my identity who I am and my self-esteem and am I pretty do I still have it you know people talking about me people judging me they don't even know what I've been through don't even know that I'm a walking testimony don't even know that God still have a call on my life this woman encouraged me I am excited for her to come out and tell her testimony let people know it doesn't matter what you look like if you're big if you're small, if you're round, if you're dark, if you're light skinned, if you got one eye, if you're bald headed, God still have a purpose and He still have a destiny for your life. So I am excited to meet this young lady. I haven't met her in, per in person yet, but I have talked and connected with her over the phone. I'm just excited for the divine connection that God allowed me to walk into and meet this young lady. I am just happy and excited to know this young lady is able to share a story and stay on fire. Uh, you know, many may or may not know, my mom is blind in one eye, right? And so I have a special love for people. And 
when she went into surgery, she had two eyes. She came out of surgery with aneurysm. Thank God she's yet here, right? Uh, she lost her sight in one of her eyes during surgery. But the beauty of it is for this young lady and my mom, they're yet trusting God. They're yet believing God. And they know they're beautiful. They know they're beautiful. And so you that's listening, uh, whether you're driving down the road or FM 104, AM 1240, WAV in the tree, or you're watching us on social media, Listen, I don't care what you have, one leg, one arm, one this, one that. Baby, there is not an excuse for you not to give God glory. Thank God for what you do have, because imagine somebody don't have both of those. And that's another reason why people need to go ahead and praise God for it all. I'm telling you, he is worthy to be praised. And this next baby you got is Marzina Collins. Let me tell you. I met this young lady. I know Marzina, right? I met her doing Juneteenth and she would let uh, her son be a part of the little preacher now, right? He always had such a uniqueness on him or such a unique calling. But what I used to love about her at that time, she was single, but she was such an upright young lady. Uh, she had the Candy Land, Candy Boutique. Uh, she was really just doing great things because she wanted to see young people life be well and she had already sold out to God and so when I saw that she had got married had another little bundle of joy I said God your hands is all on this girl life so let me let you talk about Marzini because I'm sure y'all done got in some young girl girl talk right and tell why people need to hear her story because I'm telling you I knew her during the Juneteenth tenure and baby she was on fire for serving Yes, um, Marzina Collins. Um, uh, I I don't personally know her. I've been following her. She's somebody to know, baby. Yes. Come on. <laughs> she's um. I've been following her on social media um uh, for a while, and she actually reached out to me about the brunch, and she was asking me. She's so sweet. Do I? What do I need? And you know, God had you know propelled her to reach out to me. And as we began to chat, um, God spoke to me and said, invite her, invite her to be a speaker. And so we went back and forth and she actually, um, unfortunately have a prior engagement that she had, but guess she signed the contract with, so she won't be there. She said she'll try to pop in, but she is a powerful woman of God. She's an entrepreneur. I walk in the entrepreneurship. So I, it's a lot of people, a lot of young people who are actually, um, walking in an entrepreneurship uh, role. And so I just, she, able to encourage you um, to start your own business and, and not only start your own business for self, but we want to start our business. Um, what is our purpose? Is our uh, Do we have the right motives in our business? God cannot bless our businesses if we do not have the right motives and we are not walking into serving God's people. When we look at starting our businesses and walking into our purpose, are we serving people? Can, can God trust you with your business? Do you have the right motives? Not what you're doing with your actions, but do your motives, is your heart pure? Are you serving his people? Are you are you leaning to please him in your business? And so that's one of the reasons why I believe God uh, wanted me to reach out to her. She, hopefully she can pop in and speak um to the people of God, but she's an awesome woman of God. She's so sweet. And I love her. And one thing you said, entrepreneur, because when I met her uh, during our uh, time with Juneteenth, and she was a, her, her son was a part of our Juneteenth children. And one thing about entrepreneurship, and I tell people, I've been in it twenty plus years. It ain't it ain't easy every day, but every day I say it's easy to get up and say I'm working for myself. Mm -hmm. I can control my destiny, and how many people can I serve today? And you got to get to the point that we're just not doing stuff for us ourselves, that we are true servants of the most high. And I know even business, you are in a very service oriented business. And I dare not want to get off this uh, without people knowing your business, because what you, the type of business you have that you're embarked upon is business really changing a trajectory of the family's life. It would be able to leave an inheritance for your children's children, because I don't know about you, but listen, I, I, 
that'll knock out people. Uh, people that do all these fish fries and these chicken sales uh, and all these. But baby, if you can get you some insurance, blessed assurance, and some insurance, all oh, your family can grieve and grieve a little bit better because they ain't worried about how they going to come up with this money. Talk about the blessed assurance and the good insurance. <laughs> yes, we want to make sure that we are protected. Um, I am an insurance agent. I've been doing insurance since 2015. Um, God has been um, transitioning in me. So I am just walking into it. I, right now, I do pre-planning um, for MJ Edwards Funeral Home. So I work for all three locations, y'all. So we help, we're able to help pre-plan. I still do insurance. So if you need insurance, please get covered, y'all. So many ways that you can get covered um, to protect your family, to be able to not be able to leave all that burden on your family. We do not want to leave burdens on our families. We want to leave them in peace. We yes. want to be able to leave behind generational wealth for our children's children's children so they can walk in the prosperity of what God has placed over their lives. God do not want us to live in poverty. He don't want us to have that poverty mindset, but he wants us to live a blessed life, a seat, like the seed of Abraham. So you just get protected, look into investing in yourself, put money into insurance. It's going to grow uh, for you and for your family. So yeah, that's what I do, y'all. So he's transitioning me. So I'm just going with the flow, y'all. And I'm just walking into everything he has called me to be. I'm not putting any limits on what God want to do in my life. And you bet not, baby. Let me tell you something. I heard people say, oh, Talisa, you're doing so much. Baby, I ain't doing enough. Because everything that God want to pour into me, baby, I was like, here I am, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. I, you know, and that's the thing. So many times as believers, we grew up with that mindset that we got to be in poverty. We that's, that, that's, that's, that's the humble way of serving the Lord. We don't want to be boastful. Baby, I'm not boastful. I'm thankful. And so you that's listening, 2022, happy great year. I tell people it's a happy great year for us because we understand greater is in our 2022. And the thing is that you stop letting people tell you what you can't enjoy. You know, one thing I love about your generation and generations under you, y'all ain't playing with this thing. Y'all ain't trying to walk around here with doom and gloom and, and drive a hoopty car but, and, and just trying to play this humble role but knowing you want a better car knowing you want a better house, knowing you want some better clothes. No, y'all believe God and y'all go do it. You know, and that's what we have to do. We got to stop limiting God. It is not that you, you're prideful. It's not that you're boastful. You're just blessed, baby. I just believe if the world can sound a trumpet of what they doing, I know that the, that the saints can sound, sound the trumpet even louder. We got to be an example because what's happening is if we don't show the blessing, your generations and generations under you ain't going to say, well, they serve God all their life and they ain't got nothing. Amen. And we got to get to the point that we know that we got favor on our life and we don't have to live in lack. It is his will that I, we prosper, our soul prosper. If the word said, I'm going to walk into what the word say. Amen. <laughs> and so, and that's the beauty of what everything that you got going on you're walking in excellence you're walking into the seasons plural that god has for you insurance business pre-planning business event business uh dance uh the dance business just serving god and in every walk of life you never know how you're going to impact somebody with just your smile just your energy and just your testimony you know, and so as you move forward, what else is going to take place at the Faith Experience Brunch, walking into the new? Walking into the new. So we're going to have, uh, with all those wonderful speakers, we're going to have a panel discussion, dialogue. Let's talk about it. I am welcoming every woman um, to open up. Let's discuss. Let's have girl talk. Let's help each other get through it and maneuver through it and just help one another be a shoulder to lean on while we're there. Connect. This We're talking about that divine connection. Right. Connect with different women. It's going to be some awesome women there that you can connect with. You don't know who God have there for you to meet that can be the, the next connection to your next blessing. 
And so I just hope that you guys can come out. We're actually going to do a balloon release symbolizing the things that we're going to let go. So we're, we're letting things go. We're going to write the vision. We're going to make it plain, y'all. We're going to eat. It's going to be awesome. We have an awesome menu. So I'm just excited about everything that's going to take place. Uh, we're going to have a praise dance amen so it's just, you're just gonna come and you're gonna get the whole experience and i'm just believing god that every woman when your feet touch ground on their parking lot that you will begin to feel god's presence that the healer begin to take place his deliverance begin to take place whatever you came in with that was weighing you down that you will walk out and you will be free from it walking in the freedom of god and so i'm 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 excited, y'all. I'm excited. And you should be. Is this your first out at another venue event? Yes. Yes, oh, yes. wow. And you know, honestly, that was a matter of faith that <sighs> you went out there and say, because these venues are not cheap. You know, I own several of them for some years. We're wasn't cheap, right? Right. I know I wasn't. Now they didn't get a little cheaper, but I wasn't cheap. Because uh, I believe in my the value of what I, I brought to the table. But one thing about you have to trust God with the deposit. That means when no tickets being sold, you have to trust him with a deposit. You have to trust him with uh, putting it on your day to shut down your life. You have to trust him with the hours of labor of putting it everything together without a sponsor. Because mm -hmm. in most cases, when you first start out, sponsors don't run out to you. You just have to trust God that the funds are going to come. So how can people get involved? How can people buy tickets to be a part of this event? Um, so I have been selling tickets on Eventbrite, um, but I got noticed last night that they are not letting us purchase tickets on there anymore. So that doesn't matter. It's not going to stop us. Um, I have a cash app that I've been accepting payments from. My cash app is dollar sign the faith experience. So it's $35. You can purchase a ticket. If you say, hey, my schedule is busy. I cannot uh, be able to attend, but I do want to donate. I do want to sow a seed into it. Are you able to sow a seed into it? Um, if you want to come at the door, I accept cash payments. I do have Venmo, um, Apple Pay, things like this. So if you're able to reach out to me, um, you can reach me on Facebook at Ashley Shaw. And um, I'll be able to help you and assist you with that. And I am taking payments at the door, but I do kind of want to know um, a head count so I can be able to accommodate everybody. Um, but we ain't stopping, y'all. We ain't stopping. We is not stopping. So if you want to come, please come. I'm not turning nobody away. I love it. And listen, for $35, y'all, let's listen on FM 104 AM 1240 WAB in the trend. That's the Lisa Franklin Show. Ah, so you all that's listening, $35. Let me be real. You that's that's that is a killer steal because you're getting an experience of great entertainment. Great empowerment speaking, a panel discussion where you can release and relate to other women that feels like you feel, right? And Lord knows I know the food gonna be good. And then if I know anything about Ashley, her mama, the beautiful evangelist, gonna make sure that room is gorgeous because <laughs> she is a decorator extraordinaire. And mm. it's just for $35, invest in yourself. I tell people, stop waiting for people to give you something free. Invest in yourself. You don't value it when it's free. You value when you spend some money on it, right? You know, it's the first car I, I remember I got, it was free. The second car I, I spent some money on, I valued that car a lot more because I had to work a $4.25 an hour job at Arby's to pay the little car note. And there was a lot of money in the car note, $100 $125. But think about it, $125, I won't make it for $4 an hour, not including the taxes that was taken out. I value that car, that little Cavalier. And so when you pay for something, you value it. And not only you, that when you pay for it, you're investing in Ashley Shaw, a young lady that is standing upright, that believe as she practices what she preaches. She's living holy and she want to help you through. So whether you've been married, you're a widow, or you've been divorced, you're single, you got something going on with your body, every situation that you may be experiencing, one of these young ladies on these panels is can tell you that if God did it for them, uh-huh, he'll do it for he'll do it for you as well. But you gotta get there, y'all. 
Get yourself to the, get your face in the place where exactly everything is going to be held. Give all that information, Ashley. We're going to be, uh, the address is 6090 Macon Cove. Um, so we're, it's going to be a building it's right there off of Sycamore View and Macon, um, if you're familiar with the area. So the address again is 6090 Macon Cove. And what's the name of the facility? The Occasion Event Center, I think. Occasion's Banquet Hall right there on the corner. Yes, on Banquet Hall, yes, yes. Yes, that's my <laughs> friend's place. Yes, oh, Mr. Drew. Yes. yes, honey. Drew is amazing, y'all. Y'all know yes. Drew has been around forever. Uh, actually, I had my baby's wedding there. So I know that place very well. Beautiful facility, y'all. Uh, Drew, all occasions back for how it sits right on the corner. Uh, I mean, many of us go to the top barbecue that's right there on mm -hmm. Sycamore View. But before you turn right there to the right, because you're to the hotel, it is a beautiful venue. When I tell you those floors are amazing, beautiful, just beautiful. I think you chose a beautiful venue. Uh, and Drew is doing great things for what he's doing out there with that beautiful venue. The parking is good. It's safe. It's security on a site. Uh, it's just going to be a great experience for you to come out and support the ministry of Ashley Shaw. Talk to, tell me all your, your vendors, all your, you got vendors there too as well? Uh, no vendors. No okay. vendors. Okay. So y'all listen, it's all about, it's all about, she ain't trying to make no extra money here or there. She just wants you to be free and be in freedom and walk into your greater in 2022. Ashley, tell people how they can get tickets again, how they can stay connected and give me all that good nasty information we want people to go away with about you. Okay, so you can purchase tickets again. Um, you can cash out me, um, dollar sign, the faith experience, okay? Um, you can get in touch with me. I'm on social media, uh, Facebook, Ashley Shaw, you can reach out to me and I'll be able to assist you. Um, let's see. I'm not really on Instagram. Um, I don't want to give y'all my number, but I don't care. Y'all can, if you want to call me, you can get in touch with me. 901-591-7217. 901-591-7217. Call me, reach out to me. Let me know that you want to be in the building. And y'all, sometimes I know, I want you guys to invest in yourself. And sometimes we have struggle seasons and we, we're we struggling and we don't know how we're going to make it. We don't even know where our next meal is going to come from. And you just saying if I can just be in the building if I can just if I can if, if I can just get a touch from God so I if you cannot afford it if you can say all I got is five dollars so it cannot come please come out I am not turning nobody around I want you to be in the building I want you to feel the glory of God I want you to be free and so I believe that God wants you there. He's going to get you there. I'm praying that every woman that's connected to the purpose that I have over my life, that you will be in the building. So please, you can give me a call at 901-591-7217. Again, you can reach me on social media at Facebook, Ashley Shaw. And you can cash out me $35 or whatever you can sell into it at dollar sign, The Faith Experience. I love it. One thing I want y'all also know, she has this event, but she also has her insurance business. And you know, if you don't have any insurance, we know we got the blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. But it's all right to have you some real life insurance that your family can be a blessing, leaving an inheritance. Because many people don't understand, many families financially, as they say, have the come up is with insurance, right? If you pass away, you mm -hmm. can grieve a little bit better if you can pay your bills. It don't, mm -hmm. I mean, it don't make sense to grieve your grief that you lost your loved one and you're going to lose a house because you can't afford that income that they were bringing in the house. Mm -hmm. Get you, uh, you got blessed insurance, then get you some real insurance. And y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all call Ashley. Shaw. Ashley, you know I love you, baby. Thank you so much for I being who you are, being a light for your generation. The 30s look sweet with a girl like you that's shining the light bright. Thank you, baby. Thank All right, y'all that's listening, y'all know that I love you. Absolutely. Positively love you. And there is nothing you can do about it. Make this day, make this moment, make this second the best ever. And learn how to be the best you that you can be because everybody else is already taken. Mr. Transpiration is up next right here on FM 104, AM 1240, The Trend.